Welcome back to Marketplace Mastery. I'm Mike Shellback. Today, we are going to be discussing tax forms. Why are they important, what they are, and how to obtain them? Because obviously, you're going to need to know what these are now. So let's get right into it. The first form that we're going to discuss is called the 1095A form. The 1095 form is the way the government is going to write off the member's tax credit. So this form, the 1095A form, is going to be mailed to the client typically in about February, but you're going to find out that there's going to be a lot of times where they're not going to receive it, so they're going to call you. There's a couple of ways of you obtaining it, possibly through your health Sherpa. If you scroll to the bottom where it says documents, you may see the 1095 form for the, for the previous year. If you were the agent of record, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And if it's not, it's a little bit of a pain. So the member is able to log on to healthcare.gov and go into their member portal. They don't have one, they have to create one. You as an agent are not allowed to create a member's portal. First of all, it's gonna ask you questions that you're probably not gonna know the answer to, like if they've held a mortgage with a certain bank or if you've ever lived on a certain street and they bring up an address from 10 years ago. So you don't have the answers, let them do that part. Once they have the account information, you can have them pass it over to you and you can log on and see if you can find it. It's typically in a place called Forms. You'll find it if it's available, it'll be there. Sometimes it's not. And if that's the case, the only way to get around it is to call the marketplace and to have them ask for, to have a new one sent out. Now, I'm gonna warn you, the marketplace is gonna give them in a long time frame. They're gonna tell them it takes about a month to 45 days to receive it. I've seen it happen a lot faster. What normally happens is once it's available, it gets loaded to the member's portal. So if you go back in in about a week or so after you make the phone call, you'll typically find it in the member's portal. That's the easiest way of obtaining it. Now, once they have that 1095 letter, that's the letter they're gonna take to their tax preparer. Hopefully, if they're doing it themselves, they understand. They're gonna need to take the 1095 form and they're gonna need to take the information from it and put it on the tax form 8962. Okay, now we don't touch the 8962 form. That's the form that actually gets filed to the IRS. But you're gonna be told or asked about what it is and exactly what it is. It's the tax form that the accountant or the tax preparer is gonna take the information from the 1095, put it on the 8962, and that's what gets sent to the IRS in order to uh, write off the, the member's subsidy. Keep in mind, if you don't write off the subsidy from one year, you may find the following year when you try to apply that they're being told they don't qualify because they haven't paid their taxes yet or they haven't reconciled their tax credit. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. 1095s, 8962s, all these crazy numbers. What do they mean? Now you know. All right, guys, peace.